one of the things that struck me and has continued to sort of resonate uh, in the course of the current subprime crisis is that very little that we've that we've experienced in recent years uh, hasn't happened somewhere before. In writing on settled account, what I've done is looked across a broad selection of countries over a very long period of time so that I can find the similarities in terms of these four elements, crises, bailouts, merger movements, and regulatory reform, to see what the common elements are. Unsettled account really considers the life cycle of the financial system. Even really good regulation is, is, is problematic in the sense that uh, People working in the financial market, in fact, all of us, we're all subject to incentives. And if there's an incentive to make profit and taking risks to make profits, then we'll, we will do so. So with financial regulation, no matter what uh, well-intentioned financial regulators might try, the market will then try and find a way around it. The, the historical perspective is this. The economy is growing slowly and the extra government spending has been necessary. The problem now is that the states are also reigning in spending because they're faced with deficits. Now, in, the se in some sense, macroeconomics is more of an art than a science because it's impossible to know exactly when you stop this. Because if you overspend and overspend and overspend, that will eventually become inflationary, particularly combined with the monetary easing that the Federal Reserve has undertaken at the moment. So in fact, there is reason to be worried about generating too large a government budget deficit, but it's also important not to tighten up too soon. The Fed has the tools to undertake an exit strategy to combat uh, excessive uh, inflation should it come up in the next few years. So I'm not as worried about that. One of the things we have to be concerned about is that by cutting uh, spending dramatically, as a lot of states are doing, Basically, we're creating 50 different Herbert Hoovers. Herbert Hoover was president during the Great Depression, at the beginning of the Great Depression, and he was famous for wanting to balance the budget even though the economy was, was sinking. And so by trying to balance the state budgets, we're basically uh, unleashing 50 Herbert Hoovers on the economy. The question is how are we going to manage the deficit over the next two, four, six, eight, ten years? Because that deficit is with us for a while. It took us ten years to get into this crisis. I'd say eight to 10 years for this crisis to develop. And I think that people who expect that we're gonna get out of it scot-free in two years or three years or four years, I think they're just misleading themselves. We can learn a lot about the financial system and about the current financial situation by considering what's happened in the past. The financial crises, the merger movements, bailouts, regulatory reform, none of these things are new. They've all happened before. Have they happened in exactly the same way? No, they haven't happened in exactly the same way. But the general pattern has been incredibly consistent. And so one of the takeaway points from the book would be we have to be very careful about, about paying attention to what's happened in the past. We have to understand why the increase in, uh, in excessive uh, fiscal and monetary policies led to this crisis. And we have to be careful in the future that we don't make some of the same mistakes.